Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, is taking his talents to the NFL. His coaching talents to the NFL. Well, at least for one game. We'll talk about it right after the bumper. What is good, good people? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, will be taking his talents, his coaching talents, that is, to the NFL as he will help coach this year's Pro Bowl. Like I said, don't get too crazy, Jackson State fans. Coach Prime looks like he's going to spend a long time in Jackson, but for this weekend, he will go and help the best of the best in the NFL with the NFL Pro Bowl. I'm going to share with you my screen, an article from HBCU Game Day. Shout out to HBCU Game Day. They do a really, really good job. And let's go ahead and click that. It says, Deion Sanders added to the Pro Bowl staff. It goes on to say Deion Sanders is taking his coaching talents to the NFL, but just for the Pro Bowl, the Pro Football Hall of Famer and current head coach at Jackson State University has been announced as one of the two HBCU coaches who will be on the Pro Bowl coaching staffs for this weekend's annual showcase. Sanders will join the NFC coaching staff, while Morgan State associate head coach William Carr will join the AFC staff as the HBCU legend coaches. Matt LaFleur, and the Packers are coaching the NFC, and Mike Vrabel and the Titans are coaching the AFC. Uh, this is just another great reason to be Coach Prime. This is just showing you his cachet. This is just showing you what he's able to do. And we see a lot of these HBCU initiatives, whether it's HBCU coaches helping at the Senior Bowl for the first time. The HBCU Legacy Bowl takes place for the first time. We also see the first ever HBCU Combine. And all of this coincides within the first, what, year, year and a half of Deion Sanders being an HBCU head coach. That's not by accident. This is why I, every chance I get, I give Deion Sanders his flowers. Because that's not to say that these partnerships with the NFL wouldn't have happened without Coach Prime, Deion Sanders. But it hadn't happened before Coach Prime Deion Sanders. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not saying if Deion never takes the Jackson State job that these things never happen. Just up until he did take the job, they hadn't ever happened. And since he's taken the job, all of these new initiatives, all of these new programs, all of these new opportunities, not only for the HBCU players who were trying to help get drafted into the NFL, but also the coaches and the exposure that the coaches are getting. And so that way – if they ever wanted to have a job in the NFL, potentially that could happen. Not to mention all of their players that they can inspire and try to help get to the NFL, which is a lot of their ultimate goals. So I'm just saying Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, another example of a program, a foundation or whatever that I think he laid the groundwork for, that he was heavily a part of, that he was heavily uh, you know, made happen, that he is one of the main key cogs to make this happen. And now it's a, a partnership with HBCU coaches in the NFL Pro Bowl. So not only are you building relationships with the NFL, of course, but also with the best players in the NFL. This is the Pro Bowl. These are the cream of the crop. These are the best of the best. And that's that's wonderful. For HBCU programs, that's wonderful for the coach over at uh, Morgan State. I want to say that's obviously it's wonderful for the Jackson State program. They get to continue to build those relationships. And this is just another example of what Coach Prime Deion Sanders has been able to bring to the, uh, the HBCU world. This is just another example of how he's been able to bridge that gap between the NFL and HBCUs when HBCUs used to be prime cream of the crop recruiting grounds for black players. It's slowly but surely, and I ain't there yet, but it's slowly but surely getting back to that way. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeff Lighty Jr. right there, and the Black Boss Channel. That is the Black Boss Channel right there. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I find a lot of this stuff, specifically Twitter. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out, and we will see you next time. Peace.